Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Democracy Free. My name is Weasel, and we are playing the glorious country of Canada, which I'm currently ruling as a unforgiving King Weasel. Anyway, we are also trying to fix the economy, because we are in a lot of debt. And we have a lot of deficit here. Um, one of the biggest reasons for that is because we have such a debt, we have to pay back a lot of money. Like, a quarter of our spending is debt interest. And it's going to be hard to get out of that. It's really going to be hard to get out of that. And I'm not sure if we can do this. Um, I'm not too sure we can do this. But we will have to. Let's have a look at the GDP. Um, the biggest thing we have is the uncompetitive economy. This is like a big minus. A really big minus. So we have to fix that. This is what we have to fix. Unemployment. I'm not too sure I'm going to fix that. I, that's like kind of the result. But then again, the maternity leave is still one of the biggest issues we have here. Um, also technology, we should boost that as well in education. So, well, let's see if we should, you know, technology in state schools. Oh, I actually see we only have modern textbooks. We have student, we should have student laptops. Absolutely. Student laptops is the right thing to do here. Uh, so we're going to jump into the next day and there is a liberal plot. Of course there is. There's been a liberal plot for the last few years. They've been trying to kill me all the time. Fracking! There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Hydraulic fracturing, better known as fracking, is a new drilling technology that allows energy companies to exploit previously unreachable deposits of shale gas. I've heard enough, we're gonna allow fracking because... Screw the environment, we need to get the GDP up. Anyway, where was I? Ah yes, schools. We're going to improve education. That is what's going to happen now. Um, state schools are going to have student laptops. It's even gonna cost two billion more, but it's going to be worth it because it's going to improve our productive pr 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 productivity. Hard words. And corporation tax. Interesting. I think we should we should we should reduce that even further. You know. But then again, it's only at 20%, so I don't feel too bad, actually. Yeah, I can't change it, I know. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna just jump to the next one. We kind of have to wait for things to happen in this. A failed assassination attempt. Of course, of course. The GDP is going up, guys. The GDP is going up. Fracking helped out. Yes. And lifting the curfews also helped. Of course, of course. It's important that we, you know, control the people. But not hurt our wealthy friends and the economy you know everything pretty much as you can see the GDP is influenced by so many things but also it affects so many things so that's why it's so incredibly important all right so the curve is still have a bad um, still have a bad effect still I don't want to end them now um, equality is oh no, it's having a bad effect on equality. Um, traffic congestion. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, toll roads are actually reducing that <sighs> car usage. I want to reduce the car usage, and for that I have to implement a few policies. I forgot about that. Yes, bus lanes. Time for bus lanes. Yes, maximum. Spend all the money on good public transportation. Free bus passes. Yes, if you drive with the bus, you, you can drive with the bus for free. So... Look at that, we're making even retired people happy after we took away their pensions. Which apparently did not do anything. Which is super interesting. And I'm super surprised that they're moderately, moderately supportive because we kind of took away all their stuff. But whatever. They seem to don't care as long as they get free bus passes. And um, yeah, car emission limits. That's a good thing. No, it's probably not. A national monorail system. They are promoted as being fast, reliable and environmentally beneficial. The main problem is the high cost. The construction time is also a major consideration, but it would have an eventual good payoff. And I believe that. I strongly believe that. We should probably do that. We should probably do that. You know? Car usage goes down, commuters go up, and unemployment goes down, which is a great thing in this economy. We're spending a lot of money. The income goes up actually. It went from 90 billion to 94. Expenditure went up as well because we're 
doing so many things right now to get this going, but... Oh, shite. A market meltdown. This is just what we need for our really bad economy. Just what we need. I like a challenge. And of course they tried to kill me again. But that's, yeah. Same old, same old. GDP is going down because of that market crash. Damn it. Mm, damn it. But we're going to deal with that as soon as we get rid of uncompetitive economy, which has been bothering us for quite some time now. Anyway. Um, the maternity leave. The epidemic. Asthma epidemic. is really, really bad. Not a fan of this. Not a fan of this. Ah, <sighs> guys, 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 guys. I think I'm. I feel. I feel a little bit stuck here. I feel a little bit stuck here. But again, these things kind of have to kick in as well. Um, economy. You know, space program. You know that would encourage patriotism, unite the country, and uh, it will boost the level of technology technological expertise throughout the entire uh, economy, you know. So, you know what, let's have a space program and pay five billion because we are so deep in debt that at this point I'm saying, whatever, let's build a space station. You know, if we're going down, we're going down in flames and in glory. I mean, yeah, we have tons of problems. We have ghettos, we have extreme nation nationalism, but as long as we have a space station, people are going to be happy. As long as we have that, people have something to look forward to. Oh, look at that. Cameron Francis is unhappy. He's not happy anymore, but he's smiling. I don't know what's wrong with him. Well, let's get rid of him. If he doesn't want to work with me, fine. You don't want you want to want to work with me? Fine, I don't need you. We will find another law and order minister. For example, what about you, James Cody? You don't want to do that, but then again, Ooh, religious people, you would like it, Martha. Come on, Martha. I want to I want to hire her. Law and order, hire Martha. There we go. Is she? Yeah, there we go. It looks good. He's so creepy. Lime des Jardins. He is he looks so creepy. I can't help it. I can't I can't help it. They're really creepy. Anyway, we are looking good, looking good. Oh god, the income is going down, the expenditure is going up, the deficit is going up. We're going down in flames, ladies and gentlemen. We're going down in friggin' flames. Import tariffs. People would love that. Of course they would love that. They help to protect local manufacturers from unfair competition. Well, capitalists don't really care. Um, unemployment goes down, patriotism goes up, foreign relations down, down, down. Oh my god, it's like, uh, cancel the policy. Yeah, cance cancel the policy. Yeah, that, I, I pretty much wasted a whole turn doing that now, but that's just what happens. Oh, we got downgraded to CCC. That is just what our economy in a recession, in a global recession needs, is a downgraded credit rating. Lovely, lovely. That's perfect. <sighs> Let's have a look. You know what, robotic research grants, that would be a thing, but then again, we could also just pay more money for science funding. The GDP, oh my god, I just realized that science funding will boost the GDP in, a, in, in four turns, so that's good. Um, I'm always a little bit wary because I have a lot of religious people and I'm trying to cater with them because everyone in this country is religious. 100% of the population, you know, and they're overwhelmingly supportive, so I kind of have to be, you know... I mean, they don't hate science, we know that, we know that, they don't hate science. Just, you know... Let's not do the thing with the evolution. Currently, we're teaching both, but, you know, we could, you know. Religious membership. We don't actually need to touch that, because we already have a high membership, so we don't need to teach that. Uh, creationism. Not that we don't want to make our people happy and teach them the only true, the only true way the universe happened. Um, within seven days created by one bearded guy. Um, no. Free school meals, yeah, that's right, that's good. People are singing in the morning. 
We have kids singing the anthem. Everything is good. Everything is good. Um, public services. We haven't done a lot here, to be honest. Uh, I would love to do stem cell research, to be honest. Um, but I will not touch that, considering that our religious people will not like it. They will not like it, and I kind of agree. It's 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 against it's against everything everyone believes in, of course. Technology colleges. That sounds good. Specialist schools will focus on computer literacy, biotechnology, and similar subjects. Yes, yes, we're having those. Yes, absolutely. Education goes up. Technology goes up. Yeah, that that sounds good. Let's do that. Great. Hey, that's a good one. Um. What about Stamp Out Racism Week? One week of the year will be dedicated to embrace cultural and racial diversity, aiming to reduce racial tension. Um, you know what? That sounds like a fun thing to do. That does sound like a fun thing to do. But I don't care enough. What about art subsidies? You know? Hmm, why not? Um, let's let's, let's uh, have, bring some great artists into our country and create some great art. Why not? You know? Being a crazy religious loving person doesn't mean I can't appreciate art, especially if everyone is drawing me. And I hope they are. If not, I have police drones, don't forget that. And they're armed with nuclear missiles. That's a lie, but you don't need to know that. And supply changes. Good. Let's jump into the next uh, one. And, ooh, look at that! Someone won the Nobel Prize. You know. This Canada's best Canada. GDP went up, Patriots love it, Liberals love it. Great. And of course they tried to kill me again, but I have the Nobel Prize protecting me. He generates a force field around me and I'm not, they can't hit me anymore. Because this is how the Nobel Prize works, it generates that. Oh, look at that, GDP goes up. Like it, I like it. Because I put money into science. Who would have thought that investing into science improves the GDP? We still have a high deficit, we still are crazy in debt, but we will get there. We will get there, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you worry. It's time to put more money into public libraries. And what else do we have here? Um, I think I can't do much here. Um, free eye tests, state schools. Yeah, I think we did a lot of things here. So it's time to see. What else do we have? Recycling wouldn't help us. Robotics research grants. You know? We should we should get grants for robotics and bring our technology up to the maximum. You know? Why would that... Oh, right. I forgot. I forgot. Unemployment would go up because we have robots everywhere. No! Don't, don't, don't do. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's the last thing I need. That's the very last thing I need is unemployment because we are taking away their jobs. All right, so let's go to the next one. Unemployment goes down, yes. Good that I didn't get those robots. <sighs> the global economy is still in deep recession, but we can do this. What is your problem? Didn't I just hire you, Charlotte, Charlotte? Probably. They always have something to bicker about. And I got, you know, they tried again. At this point, I should just live in a bunker. Seriously, what am I doing outside of a safe area? I should just live alone in a bunker, you know? Give me internet and put me into a bunker. That's fine. But then again, I'm worried that they would plot a coup and just, you know, let, let me rot in that bunker. So I'm not going there. What is this? Tourism ad campaign, good. All right, all right, all right, all right. We kind of have to wait for the economy to get better, but... Um, let's have a look. Is there something that I could possibly do to make it better? Food Standards Agency, language lessons, force political, militarily, rate religious oath. Adding religion to oaths gives, given in public by your officials and troops will create a greater sense of honor and security to the public, giving them the feeling that what you're doing is the right thing to do. With righteousness on our side, nothing can go wrong. I didn't have that yet. I didn't? Well, of course, we want we want that for all citizens. Of course. Oh my God! Look at those liberals. Holy moly! Oh, they would hate that. Wow. And racial tensions goes up. 
Well, you know what? If you are not a religious person, you should not be in our country. Because this is the safe haven for the true believers. Something like that. Oh my god, liberals will, their heads will literally explode when I do this. I can't wait. This is going to be great. Look at the liberals, all those things that they hate. Like, now they have another thing. Oh my god. I should just call this how to piss off liberals. <laughs> Not that I like doing that, but they do like the RF subsidies. I think this makes up for a lot. I think this makes up for a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, let's uh, go to the next quarter and hope that I don't get killed. They tried again, but they failed, so this is good. We have 92% of the votes, and actually, yeah, only 167. I remember a time where we had 500 people in the Freedom League trying to kill us, and the threat assessment was way higher. So, great job, Weasel. Great job. You're doing the right thing. Yes. So, um, gated communities. Well, we don't have that big of a, you know, crime problem. The National Armed Forces Week. Our heroes and protectors need to be recognized by establishing the National Armed Forces Week. This can be done by celebrating their service for our country. Let me have a quick look. 25. See, that's the thing I just realized, to be honest. If the popularity with the voters is really high, um... You don't have to pay as much in political capital. So in this case, um, it only costs us two to establish a National Armed Forces Week. Great. Patriots are going to love it. Great, great, great. What else is there? Um, you know what? We should have a witness protection program. Just in general. Even if we don't have a crime problem right now, this is a thing we should have. Why don't we have that already? You know? Just, you know, make sure that people that want to... You know, say something bad, can go into witness, pro uh, say something against uh, criminals, can be safe. Something along those lines. And it won't cost us anything because we don't have crime. Alright, private prisons. Rather than directly control and manage a state prison service, this policy allows to be privately owned and managed and merely paid for by the state. They could result in lower costs and higher efficiency. These measures will be unpopular with trade unionists. Liberals will have ethical concerns. Yeah, absolutely, private prisons. That's the best thing ever, you know? Let's let's put that to a maximum. See, it reduces unemployment and crime, you know? Wait, even liberals are going to enjoy private prisons? I think this is wrong. I think they will not. They, they don't like it. But, you know... Oh, okay. But we'll still be pleased if spending is high enough to promote rehabilitation. Oh, I get it. I get it. If I, if I do it down and don't spend any money... It barely has any effect, but it should reduce our costs for that, you know. Yeah, we're gonna go with maximum. That's fine. That's good. Alright. Still a deficit of 55. We actually doubled that. Tripled. I'm doing such a good job at keeping this economy afloat. We're still uncompetitive. We're still like, ugh. Because the productivity is so low. Government causes the GDP is the biggest problem for un unemployment. Um, immigra immigration is actually doing something against unemployment. That's interesting, um, but it's improving the GDP. So I kind of, you know, border controls. Oh wait, where is it? Where is immigration? Do we have like a yeah immigration? It's improving the GDP. So if I random passport check would reduce that. Patriots are not gonna love it, but uh, yeah, we're saving a little bit of money, and we should probably boost tourism and immigration, which hopefully boosts the economy, and it's going to lead to a lot of racial tensions. Oh my god, this is going to be fun! But yes, everyone can go into our country. I mean, this is uh, yeah. Apply changes. Oh, I don't have enough capital. Of course, we're gonna have to do this in the next round. Ooh, we made a scientific discovery. Yes, the GDP goes up. I need that. They tried to kill me again. Our rating is CCC, but look at that. The GDP is going up. It's going up, ladies and gentlemen. It's going up. Finally. Finally. Great.
Income goes up. Deficit is still quite high, but we're making progress here. All right, all right, all right, all right. So this is pretty much our biggest goal, to try to not wreck this country with our spendings. You know, but keeping control is expensive. You know, I don't want to let up on my police state, considering that everyone is trying to kill me. I cannot reduce the costs there. I just can't. Um, adult education subsidies. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Public religious broadcasts, healthcare, school. <laughs> Good questions. Good questions. City farms. Intriguing. Intriguing. Ban low, per mi uh, low mileage per gallon cars. New car subsidies. Ooh, yes! You know, boosting the GDP for a billion. That's probably going to be worth it. We're going to boost the motorists and probably improve car usage. Yeah, we're doing that. But then again, we could see that we are, um, you know, improve the roads so we don't have that big of a problem. Oh god, this is getting quite chaotic. This is getting quite chaotic, but we're getting there. We're still alive, we're still in business. The Freedom League is calming down, even though the liberals are really angry at me still. 17 million people want to probably kill me. Like, I mean, like choke me to death if they had the chance. Oh wait, she's sympathetic towards our liberal friends? Charlotte. Charlotte. You know, you're not bringing me any capital. You are conspiring with the liberals. You know, they're trying to kill me. You're aware of that, that the liberals are trying to kill me. You are aware of that. And you're still grinning at me with your beautiful, beautiful smile. Well, we need a new, we definitely need a new foreign affairs minister. I'm not, I'm not on any of that. So who likes us? He kind of does. So you're doing her job. All right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.